Proslogium, or Discourse on the Existence of God, Preface, by Anselm of Canterbury, 1033 to 1109. First Chapter, Collection 7. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Proslogium Preface After I had published, at the solicitous entreaties of certain brethren, a brief work, the Monologium, as an example of meditation on the grounds of faith, in the person of one who investigates, in a course of silent reasoning, with himself, matters of which he is ignorant, considering that this book was knit together by the linking of many arguments, I began to ask myself whether there might be found a single argument which would require no other for its proof than itself alone, and alone would suffice to demonstrate that God truly exists, and that there is a supreme good requiring nothing else which all other things require for their existence and well-being, and whatever we believe regarding the divine being. Although I often and earnestly directed my thought to this end, and at some times that which I sought seemed to be just within my reach, while again it wholly evaded my mental vision. At last, in despair, I was about to cease, as if from the search for a thing which could not be found. But when I wished to exclude this thought altogether, lest by busying my mind to no purpose it should keep me from other thoughts in which I might be successful, then more and more, though I was unwilling and shunned it, it began to force itself upon me with a kind of importunity. So one day when I was exceedingly wearied with resisting its importunity in the very conflict of my thoughts, the proof of which I had despaired offered itself, so that I eagerly embraced the thoughts which I was strenuously repelling. Thinking, therefore, that what I rejoiced to have found would, if put in writing, be welcome to some readers of this very matter, and of some others, I have written the following treatise, in the person of one who strives to lift his mind to the contemplation of God, and seeks to understand what he believes. In my judgment, neither this work nor the other, which I mentioned above, deserved to be called a book, or to bear the name of an author. And yet I thought they ought not to be sent forth without some title by which they might in some sort invite one into whose hands they fell to their perusal. I accordingly gave each a title, that the first might be known as an example of meditation on the grounds of faith, and its sequel as faith seeking understanding. But after both had been copied by many under these titles, many urged me, and especially Hugo, the Reverend Archbishop of Lyons, who discharges the apostolic office in Gaul, who instructed me to this effect on his apostolic authority, to prefix my name to these writings, and that this might be done more fitly, I named the first monologium, that is, a soliloquy, but the second proslogium, that is, a discourse. End of Proslogium Preface